Hey, I'm Jen from Full Gym Farm and we have puppies. gonna have what's your guess she's so thick eight. I said eight as well look at her three I just compared to how thin she's always been like she's really thick what's the average I wonder I'd probably say eight to ten You gotta do that right there, Chrysanthemum. Hey, buddy. Hey, Rocket. Hey, buddy. Hey. Number 10.
can go sleep. You can go sleep. There's so many puppies, Sitika. Are you tired? Can I see one? What's that noise, huh? Can I see? Oh, this. this is your baby. Is that your baby? It's dark ones. That, this one's just been born. Uh, let me see. That dark one? It's yeah. wet. It feels attached yeah. to yeah. her teat. Sitika has had 10 puppies so far. Um, what time did you text me that she was... 1.30ish. About 1.30. I was still at school. Kevin said there's five puppies. And she was kind of done and drying them up and we thought she had five puppies and I was kind of surprised because she's big and I, I don't know my guess was eight and then I've been trying to get home in a mad hurry and um, and in that hour or so that it's taken me to get home she had five more so I mean they're, they're all still kind of wet one of them. Um, What's that one's name? Huh. Well, she's very attentive when she's, they're hollering. Yeah, she's good. I got some video of her. There's so many babies. Most of them are Brindle. Oh, good There's girl. two that's kind of a faunish. You right see them here. right there. They're fawn, but they got Brindle in them. They're going to darken up. But. Little girl. How dark My that face is. Little boy. Hey. Look at Sitka. Is that your baby? Is that your baby? You can share, you know. <laughs> Little girl. Or are they three days old? Mm -hmm. Three days old, doing good. So many puppies. What do you think, Sitika? Hey, girl. Such a good mommy. Yes, you are. Sitika, Our come puppies here. are 11 days old now. And all 10 of them are doing great. They have started to open their eyes. They're the whiniest little things. I don't know how she keeps up with all 10. Um, we moved them out today because she's digging a hole and they're getting kind of caught up, up under the fence a little bit. So we moved them out to kind of fix that. But she's been a great mama and I don't know if we said already on the first videos because it's been a few days, but she had five girls and five boys, so they're doing good. One of the things that we see a lot with livestock guardian dogs is um, they're not great around chickens. And we didn't really 
really know, you know, kind of how to do things initially, but after a little bit of research, um, you know, we've kind of learned. And so one of the things that we're going to do with our puppies is we want to, they were born in the, the uh, goat pen here in the buck pen, and we're going to move them up where the chickens are, where we have the chickens and Clara and all those goats. We're going to move them there. Uh, each day, get Sitka out and let the chickens kind of come in where the puppies are, just to have that exposure. And um, and you know, with any uh, pet, with any dog, which these are not pets, they're they're livestock guardian dogs, but they take training. And so um, you can't just, even though they have a lot of natural instincts, you can't just throw them in with your goats and stuff and expect them you know, to know what to do. So with goats and with chickens, you know, we want to work with them and teach them, you know, how to interact, how to be gentle, um, not chasing. That was the biggest thing with ours is wanting to chase and not, it's, they're not being aggressive, they're just playing. And so um, early exposure, being born here um, with the, with the livestock that they're guarding is, is important and just early exposure and then when they do go to their new homes you know um, continuing that training and um, it's really important that they're not left alone with the livestock they're guarding guarding when they're young so uh, we just we really want them to have that exposure to chickens so we'll be documenting that as as they're getting a little bit older right now they're still they're not really getting around much. They're just starting to open their eyes. So we'll keep y'all updated on on how that's going. This one's making all kind of racket. What are you, a little boy? He's a little mini Tiberius. Hey, goodness. They're just fat little butterballs. But we'll keep y'all updated, and we appreciate y'all watching, and we'll see you next time.